Yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Lund, and welcome to another episode of the Supper Club Social, where we review restaurants, movies, and TV shows, and talk about home bars, cocktails, and pop culture. With me, as always, is my co-host Roy Smith. Hello. Writing third chair today is Charlie. Get off my lawn, McInerney. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> and we've got two special guests, Brad and Jeff. <clears throat> Good evening. Hello, everyone. Brad and Jeff are returning special guests, but from a sacred, unreleased episode. <laughs> um, a lot right there. Roy, well, you guys should know we start every episode off. Roy, you got uh, any dust ups on the bus lately? Nope. Wasn't technically on the bus. No. It was at a park and ride. Okay. After she had got off the bus, hmm. picked this lady up. I like Sullivan Sprague. Perfectly normal. It's on. Hello. Hi. Runs her pass. Sits down. Quiet. All the way out to Liberty Lake. Oh, do you go a little bit further down by like the industrial part? Nope. Sorry, this route ends right here. Hmm. You gotta get on the bus behind me. It'll take you right there. Just gotta wait a little bit. Okay. Thank you. It's off the bus, walks over to the other buses. Me and the other driver that have a break there, we're just chit chatting, not talking a peep about her. Yeah. All of a sudden, she comes back around the corner. Fuck you. What the fuck is your problem? I know you're supposed to go there and you didn't drop me off there. You came here to sit here and chit chat with blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and we were both like, what one the of them fuck? finally caught you lying. And he's like, <clears throat> was she like that on your bus? I'm like, no, <laughs> totally normal. Now yeah. she's having a fucking freak out. So and then she goes away. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that was fucking weird. I'm like, well, it's your problem now, guy, because <laughs> she can't go any further on my bus. And then she comes back around the corner. Oh, you're still over there talking about me. You're like, I'm your wife. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, calm down, lady. And she's like, you don't call me lady unless I'm your wife. And, oh, you're such a fucking freak. And blah, blah, blah. I'm like, Man. we're just like, what the? F-? And then he takes his phone. He's like, I got to record this because this is getting better and better. And it, this went on for 15 minutes. Wow. She would duck away. And then she'd come back around the corner, just go on this huge braidment of whatever was going on. Yeah. And then at one point she said the ambulance guy hmm. told me that I could take this bus and go to where she wanted to go. And now you didn't take me there. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it makes sense. Wow. So she either was overdosed on something. Meth was yeah. wearing off. Yeah. 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 She's something. coming off of something or she went behind the bathroom when she got here and took a hit off of something. Yeah. Right. And now she's on the up. Yeah. Sounds like she's been invited to the 19th Green oh Lantern twice. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you wear your nice jacket. Yeah. How old was she? Oh, I don't know, like late 30s, early 40s, maybe. Brad's interested. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I see her again, I'll give her your number. You shut your mouth. <laughs> but, yeah, it was the bizarrest thing. Because normally they're just crazy from the get-go. Yeah. You know, they're not normal person. Right. And all of a sudden, they flip a switch, and they're just some different person. Struggle is real. Weird. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah. It made my day, though. Maybe my whole week. <laughs> Why did, did you ever think about telling her the truth? That the bus doesn't go out that far? <laughs> yeah, the bus that I told her to go get on goes that far. <laughs> and it was broken down, too, so it wasn't going anywhere anytime soon. So <laughs> she had to wait even longer, which made it uh, even better. Yeah, was she hot? No. Oh, okay. Homeless hot? <laughs> mm, teeth? Excuse me. I don't know if it's hot as the hot? F- one photo you showed us hot. Uh-huh. No, that was oh. a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> was that from him? I thought that was from Lyle. No, it was from no, us. <laughs> yeah. But Lyle just kept wanting to see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, show me that again. He's like, oh, can, I, can you zoom in on this for me? Gross. Yeah. Um, we're just going to leave you guys in the dark on that one. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't want to yeah. relive I'll, I'll show you. I'll, why during you a break, break I'll, I'll show you the picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll tune in. Yeah, I'll show you. Yep. <laughs> Charlie, has the universe launched any unprovoked attacks on you this week? Uh, Deep breath. Okay, we're somewhere. Oh, yeah. So we go to Green Bluff today. Uh, had my son's soccer game at 8 o'clock this morning. Then we go up to Green Bluff, and we pull in the naps, and there was a big old Chevy Yukon, and I pulled up behind him, and the dude is walking towards the vehicle, and he starts pointing at my car and then pointing at his car mm-hmm. because he's going to load his pumpkins in the back of his mm. car, and I'm pulling too close to his vehicle. Yeah. And he's just pointing, looking, you know, throwing his hands up in the air. Yeah, maybe he shouldn't have backed in. That's exactly what <laughs> I that said. All the time, She's right. like, well, maybe park a different <laughs> fucking direction yeah. if you're planning on loading your pumpkins in the back of your car. I don't yeah. pull through on spots with my truck for that very reason. Well, right. If you know you're going to be loading something in the back. Yeah. Grocery store? No. You're I'm... setting yourself up for failure. Right. Yeah. And so I, me being the nice guy and... I mean, he had this this sweet, like, I don't know how much moose he had in his hair, his curly, <laughs> long, flowing locks, and 
what so do you have to do? I park and I backed up a little bit and I yeah. get out and he's just talking to himself. Who the hell comes and pulls up behind a vehicle? They're trying to pull up all their cars and throw their pumpkins in the back seat. And I was like, sorry, but I didn't have my crystal ball available to see that you're going to be loading your pumpkins in the back of your vehicle. Yeah. It's like, yeah, thanks. I'm like, fuck you. Wow. Was he yeah. a senior citizen? No, he was he was probably he's one of those guys that was probably thirty but looked like he was fifty. Uh, mm-hmm. We all know we all know the dad. Yeah. California but just a freaking douche. <laughs> yeah. But no, that was my only really hiccup all okay. week. I mean it was Yeah. It's not too bad. You're still coming off that vacation though. I'm I might put that table that question for a few more weeks. <laughs> Let him build up. Maybe a new after the first snow. Oh yeah. We'll come back oh. to it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brad, Jeff, um, how was your guys' week? Anything spectacular happen? Uh, I don't mean to limp, lump you in together, Jeff. Yeah, how no, was your it, week? It's all good. Thank you, sir. thank you, sir. You're welcome. No, it it was a uh, long. We have a coworker who's on vacation, and so I got to take over for him mm. when he's on. So that got kind of old real quick. But is otherwise. that a scratch my back, I'll scratch your back type of thing? On occasion, yeah. yeah. On occasion, but yeah, no. It was just it was a long rough week. There was right. citizens kind of like what Roy had would start happy and then be not happy so yeah, yeah it was kind of long in that regard mm. nice. but we won in soccer so i'm not going to complain there you go nice. it's the little things it is it's all about how, about, things. how about you brad how was your uh, week it's been good i've got a sister getting married three weeks from tonight so um, i did inform her last weekend that my date isn't going with me mm. so i'm going solo you make it to dinner so you get double steak i was just yeah, that's right <laughs> it is double steak. <laughs> And you don't. And she was on two hours sleep. When I informed her of this news last mm-hmm. Sunday. Mm-hmm. That didn't go well. Little Bradzilla action. Was your? Oh, it's not, oh yeah. There's <laughs> that's a whole podcast right there. So was your girlfriend an integral part of the wedding? So my actually my current girlfriend isn't going with me down there because oh. we're not. Um, it's a long story. But uh, no, the girl that was going to go with me. All the time me, in the world, buddy. I know the the Five girl. Hours. The, the girl that was going to go with me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've known her for a long time. We're just friends because that's the rule that was set at fifteen. When we were 15 years old. Smart. And uh, my sister approved her back in March and said, hey, I say my <laughs> background check came out clean. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and because I'm like, Kelly, I'm going to come down there with somebody. Yeah. And she goes, I'll approve Brittany, not your other horse. Mm. No, that's the line in front of her own fiance. <laughs> nice. And so <laughs> nice. now I'm just going by myself, going to have a good time and just trying to keep my parents in line and hang by the bar. And so were you us. pretty pissed when the voots shut down? When the watch it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Way to act know. like you don't Wait, know what's why? yeah. Huh. <laughs> when the what? I, huh? what? When the how? I know deja huh? vu. Sh- I, I oh, I just vu. found uh, out. I just found out recently. Yeah, me too. I was driving by and the, the little <clears throat> no, reader board was yeah. cleared, yeah. and they had one of the big yellow business for sale signs oh. out front. Yeah, yeah. And I think I the Bronco right ends. I think the Bronco bit. ends in that whole. Yeah, that too. section's all for sale. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's a shame. So, so now you got to go all the state line. You know, the pipeline shut down for now. Yeah. Is Miss Kitty still available? Uh, yeah, uh, open uh, till six Kitty's, every day. Yeah. <laughs> Ten to six, I believe, is what <laughs> yeah. it says on the billboard. Nice. I got to remind myself. And uh, if you want an athletic Alicia, it's three K. Oh. Just if you're interested. <laughs> They're open on Sunday. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing probably okay. tomorrow. I'm driving what out is, the valley tomorrow. It is the Lord's Day. One, okay. <laughs> one yeah. time. So. No, but other than that, no. It's an exciting time, but it's also it's you know I'm the only one I think here that isn't married, but it's a uh, it's fun to watch someone go through it. But it's yeah. She Ruben. she's she's definitely a bridezilla, but she's marrying the right person, which is cool. But, That's good. Weddings uh, are, f- are you do you like weddings? I love weddings. Oh, I yeah. love weddings. You could always pull There's a Mike and Dave's wedding dates and just go to a random bar and pick up one of the bartenders and yeah. get them a f- fully she, played trip. Something's gonna happen there that's unexpected, and that she's gonna have to go with the flow and not give her anybody the death look. So it's it's gonna be great. Um, <laughs> And, and just watch my dad try and get through a speech and <laughs> yeah. see who cries. And I mean, I I do like that stuff. Yeah, I've been to a bunch of them. So nice. Is it a travel? How, is, are you traveling to? Them? Yeah, we're going to Simi Valley, California. Oh, nice. oh wow! Yeah. Are you going to drive? Oh no, oh, no. Fly? no. I'm flying out uh, in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Nice. Just be down there for a week and oh nice. Gonna have some good Mexican food and uh, spend some time with my family and. Um, see how, see how it goes. So. I'm surprised you don't want to spend the whole time with them. Nah, I love the death, but spend I the just, rest of the time trying to find a date for the wedding. No, no, no. I told my girlfriend the other night, <laughs> last night, that I'm doing Thanksgiving with her family for the first time, so that'll be exciting. So. Good deal. Well, yes, sir. I got a good um, ham recipe if you need it. 
<laughs> you say ham or hand? Ham. Well, <laughs> I got I some hand, hand tricks as well. I heard hand. I heard hand. <laughs> that's why. I, that's why I've been seeing Roy in like ten months. There's yeah. Ham <laughs> <laughs> oh. or ham, either way. I Goodness. Well, my week was Mr. good. Uh, thanks for asking, <laughs> as usual. But you didn't give um, us time there, yeah. bud. So. Yeah. Yeah, we're straight on. How was right? your dangerous, death-defying week? <laughs> well, I did have a week. I had a little situ- situation pop up. Mm-hmm. I uh, try to describe it. You fell off the pole. So I was like climbing up from one deck to another deck on a ladder, and I've got these sound canceling headphones, whatever, just kind of doing my thing. I've got a forty foot pole, but it's collapsed, so it's like probably six and a half feet tall. Mm-hmm. I'm just go. I've already gone up on this deck like one other time, but the ladder's in a different spot. And I get up to the top, and the ladder goes. <laughs> <laughs> slipped out and <laughs> completely fell and i just in dead silence or whatever podcast was playing i ended up just like i was just like, <laughs> like shimmy back up clark griswold it the oh. guy rushes out i was like hey you're checking your railing here it's got a wobble to it <laughs> <laughs> this is a new technique <laughs> <laughs> he's like are you all right i was, I was fine but um yeah it was so fast it was bizarre i mean i Set the ladder back up, measured the angle, and I was like, "Yeah, all right." It was four to one, right? Stupid, but yeah, it's just a total like get comfortable and just mm-hmm. don't even think about those things. Got lost in the murder mystery, huh? <laughs> and uh, the funny part is, the, I got up on the deck earlier from laying a ladder on the roof and kind of accessing it that mm-hmm. way, and the railing where I had to like climb over, I was like, "It's pretty wobbly." <laughs> so then when I end up hanging from it one section down, I was like, "Oh, not found bad. a good spot, good thing." <laughs> Maybe you should put that on your uh, resume, rail fixer, the yeah. rail tester, rail tester. Yeah, I'll let you know if it's my weak mom, or not. My mom's gonna freak out on this one. Well, but uh, yeah, keep the funny thing. Trying. So I have that huge pole in my hand. I don't. Even, I have no idea how I ended up hanging up hanging there because the. You know the ladder arms around the deck thingy. And that's only like six inches wide, uh-huh. so it just disappeared. My feet were just like gone, and I was <laughs> like hanging there. But um, yeah, I was a little sore. Like my neck was kind of. I think I might have caught myself on my one arm and then ninja my way back up. But you know how there, everything comes in threes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the same day, next house, I was like. Um, I've done this house a thousand times. I clean the gutters, and I just walk across the neighbor's fence because it's really close. <laughs> and I completely forgot that it, like, steps down in one spot. And I was, like, <laughs> oh, hanging on the gutter. I'm like, what is going on today? <laughs> Didn't tell me about that one, but nice. I would only have been six feet rather than 16. Yeah. But uh, I was like, all right, what's number three? And I'm start looking at people weird. And <laughs> 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 Hasn't happened yet, but... Maybe it'll reset after. We made it past week. the 13th, so that's probably good. Oh. Was that Friday the 13th? Last Friday, I think. Oh. Last Friday. You should be in the Oh, room. no. This was the 19th. Mm. Friday the 19th sounds worse. Well, I don't know if I have enough time for my uh, question here, but. Um, you got two and a half minutes. All right, let's round it up real quick here. For one question before we get on to happy hour, I wanted to ask something. Fall or autumn? Why does this season get one more name? Than when the others don't. I mean, there isn't another, another word for summer, is there? No. No. Or spring? I don't think so. What's the difference? I've always fall called it fall. I've never yeah, been I've like, never oh, autumn. autumn too. Yeah. <laughs> I've always called it fall, too. I think maybe it was started out as autumn. People are like, it's too long. No. <laughs> yeah, the leaves are falling. Let's just call it that. Yeah, I mean, winter, summer, spring, fall. autumn, they're all about the same. Yeah, but Why would they it only doesn't roll off the one? tongue as nice. Fire season and smoke season both have two separate names, but same thing. <laughs> well, yeah. That might just be a Spokane problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. Smoke season. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. It must just... Because, look, it just <coughs> doesn't roll. Like, you got Should- summer, fall, winter, spring. You do summer, autumn. Why are you starting in summer? I guess that just seems the best natural way to start. Season. Winter, spring, well, wouldn't you summer, summer fall. autumn. No, that sounds even worse. That way. It should just fall off. Yeah. Are you, you just don't like the MN at the end of it? Yeah, because it's it hard to pronounce. Autumn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't roll off the tongue as nice. You guys have any hot takes on this one, Brad? I do not on that one. No. Uh, I've always said fall. Uh, with no hesitation. Don't forget about the microphone. 
That's why we're here. <laughs> Get drunk and talk into microphones. Yeah, I'm already drunk a little bit, so that's not a problem. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you two so, hours before. So. We'll just work on the microphone. Yeah, then. that's, you know, hey, someone has to. Um, no, I've always said fall. I don't know. Hmm. If, if you look at who says autumn, it's people on TV that say that. Or like Hallmark broadcasters. Do you think it's wrong, though, that that... Uh, more of a universe thing. Maybe I think it just got changed, and some people can't let it go. That's right. Yeah, yeah. and I, I've never seen Hallmark because I'm single, or well, I'm not single, but I don't. Might be a good time to start. You can get no, some emotions no, out. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Once you get those so, six characters stuck so, in your head, yeah, it's the same movie, just different Jennifer times. Love Hewitt. <laughs> yeah, so she's a star. Is that what she's doing now? Is that Mario yeah, Lopez. Part of it, yeah. yeah, Mario. Candace Cameron back in the day. Um, yeah. The lady from Biggest Loser. Oh, oh that's, yeah. That's oh just, yeah. Yeah. Jillian. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and what about the girl from? Uh, is it um, is it Mean Girls? The one that says that's so fetch. Yeah, probably. She's in their big forehead, big yeah. girl. I've yeah. never seen Mean Girls. Wow, I know. Go with it. I know. You would have right. probably passed the manly test I did last week. <laughs> Chuck's um, the only one that made it. The macho test. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's Chuck just went like this to that test. Yeah, he's like, oh, fuck this <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> this is one of the best times of year, though, with so much cool stuff going on, and then when the temp drops, it's gonna drop quickly. Yeah. I think that's debatable, but maybe we'll save that argument for happy hour. Let's right, move it on to the next segment. Let's move it on. Welcome back to Happy Hour. Welcome to Happy Hour. Today the cocktail is the Corpse Reviver number two. Oh, number two, eh? Shall we have a sip? Oh, yeah. That is sweet. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That is delicious. It's like having a warhead. That's pretty sour. Yeah. Yeah. Do you mean but sweet like as an awesome? Tart. Who said no, it sweet? started off sweet, but now it's getting soury tart. <laughs> so like a lemon sour patch kid. Yeah, yeah that's it's a good one. Definitely a it's sour delightful. drink. So what we're having, Corpse Driver number two. That is an absinthe absinth absinthe? Am I saying absinth? Yeah. Uh wash, which I do a spray bottle. I was wondering what was in that. And then three quarters ounce of a London dry dry den, dry gin. Three quarters ounce Lille Blanc. And I forgot an ingredient. (laughs) 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 Gin? (laughs) Do you not put the gin in there? Let's sweeten it up a little bit. (laughs) Some more sweetness in it. Um, You're going to measure it out or are you just going to guess? I'm going to dabble, do you? I'm going to pass this back down. (laughs) Well, it's not a good podcast unless Ryan forgets an ingredient. There you go. Uh, that coloring is a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> it really changes it up. Oh, yeah. Look at it change colors. Oh, a little heavy pour. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. You're good. We got Jeff's right here. No, that, this is yours. Or no, it's Roy's. This is Roy's. Just the figure stir. Mm, like it. Roy already drank half of his. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bigger glass. That. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right, there we go. Let's try this again. Nothing like a little motor oil mixed in there. Stir. Mm. Interesting. Anybody need a stir? No, I use my finger. Use my finger also. (coughs) Let me try this. It's good. Oh yeah. Can't tell much. That cuts a little bit. It's good, but I almost like it better the other way. Oh no, now it's coming. Yeah. It just softens it on the first yeah. taste. I don't taste this stuff at all. No. No, I don't even know what it tastes What's like. It's pretty yeah. mellow. It really, I think it just kind of just mellows out the gin. When I tried it straight, it tastes like a weak wine. But it tastes fruity. like straight lemon juice. Um, so, this drink is a classic drink that belongs to a family of pre-prohibition cocktails that were said to be created and consumed for the chief purpose of rousing the drinker from the dead. Yeah. In other words, <laughs> meant to cure hangovers, increased vigor, and otherwise improve one's morning. Corpse <laughs> Survivor can be traced back to the late 1870s with m- many lost to the ravages of time. This version is the best-known recipe, although the Corpse Survivor number one, Cognac Cavaldo's Sweet Vermouth is still in rotation and enjoyed. 
Uh, yada yada yada. It's actually it's really it's very mild. Um, it's like a mild riesling. Hmm. I'm trying to see if there's any more highlights from here. I was planning on Roy reading all this, but I've been talking all day. I would agree. That's like yeah. a, a mild riesling, but it's, almost almost sweeter, like a moscato, well, closer almost. Mm. <clears throat> Uh, it's a, definitely a sour template we'll cocktails. Um, How dare you? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, What's happening? Well, Jeez. here it goes. Eighty-five dollars worth of ingredients. <laughs> Just kidding. Okie dokie. I got some noobs on the show here. <laughs> hey, noob. First I coop. My first drink. First Fine. coop, my guy. <laughs> Final appearance. <laughs> Well, I wonder, maybe we didn't release the last one for a good reason. <laughs> All right. Tough but fair. Tough but fair. Okay. Um, that is the drink. So, my thought, let me take one more drink here. It would definitely get you going in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, I need a little something spe- yeah, more special than that. missing something. I don't know. Did you forget another ingredient? Let me read through <laughs> the I never... <laughs> It's so, awfully close to a lemon drop. That's yeah, but more. maybe not as sweet. But I mean, it's it's. It'd be like a sour lemon. It's me. I'd put in like a quarter ounce of uh, lemon juice instead of three quarters. Yeah. Um, it's a lot. Yeah, I think it's just not very well balanced. This may be at least. like a good way to get your night started. Yeah, and and this would be good at the else. soccer game in your water bottle, so yeah. you can say ever, tell everyone it's lemonade. Right, and they could try it too. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. all the fresh other parents breeze. here for some fresh lemonade for parents. <laughs> right. Yeah, um, it's definitely got a lot of sugar in it. So, how much time do we have on here, Roy? Thirteen minutes. So, oh boy, we better reset the cameras. Just kidding. <laughs> all right. So, for happy hour conversation here, I was looking to see how trendy we are. Hmm. I'm going to name the ten most trending TV or streaming shows okay. right now. Charlie, do you watch a lot of TV? Uh, Sports, or do you watch other stuff? Nah, I don't watch a lot of TV. I mean, I my TV watching is like, you know, after dinner, after you go lay in bed and laundry, put my yeah. earbuds in and watch whatever on my phone. So yeah. that's my TV watching. Reels or TV? Huh. Uh, t- more, yeah. Actual shows? Yeah, actual shows. Oh, okay. Like what? what? Uh, I've been on a reboot of Married with Children. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. my God. Not it's bad. so good. Yeah. How about our two middle squad here? You guys are TV watchers? Yeah. Um, more so, I... Um, you and all your whores? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I usually do it alone. That's says so a lot. funny. Whores. I like that your sister... <laughs> I know, I know. The whores at the door? Well, yeah. you know, after I spill the drink, I have to, I have to rebound with something. But <clears throat> no, she... Uh, or um, Yeah, no, like, I'm one of the few people that still have, I mean, c- cable and stuff and all the apps, or mm. like all the streaming apps. So if there's something good on Peacock or Prime, like, yeah. I've gone through and watched Seinfeld over again. Yeah, Seinfeld's a good one. I've watched. Uh, I, I do like Married with Children. It's yeah. a good show. Um, I've never watched an episode of that. Really? Oh my oh, god! He's he's the best. Oh. It would never make it. Oh, today. No, it would. no, he's right about that. <laughs> you would never Absolutely guess it's not. the same guy that's on no. uh, Modern, Modern Family. family. Right. Yeah. You would never guess. It's... Right. <laughs> but yeah, God. Probably the last thing I rewatched was so the, funny. It was a show called Suits that I kind of liked. Oh yeah, yeah. So I've I got a shows. couple, some good friends that watch that, and they've tried to get me to watch it, but I haven't. It's into slow. That yet. You have to get into it. It takes a couple episodes. It but yeah. a big comeback. It was like one of the top shows. Mm-hmm. That I've heard everybody. But mainly now, it's mainly like I love documentaries now. Oh, yeah. stuff that's true. I, that stuff, whether it's sports, history. Sometimes. You watched the David Beckham I, one yet? I have not watched that. I yet. just finished the Murdoch. Amazing. Uh, yeah, I saw, I saw that was, we just watched that that's too. awesome. Yeah. Well, that's holy shit. Yeah. That was yes, good. it is. Yeah. Roy, TV watching? Uh, we've been uh, watching Shit's Creek. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Great show. Yeah. I didn't, like, we've seen, like, just random episodes, like, before we started really watching it. And you have to get through, like, the first two episodes before yeah. it really starts, like, taking off. Yeah. But, oh, we've, we're on the last season now. We got, like, 10 episodes left. But it's so funny. It's so good. <laughs> it's, it's good. This part of that show is Chris Elliott. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I love that character. Yeah. I I've never watched a single episode of that one either. You guys That's ever good. watched Letter Kenny? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Shorzy. Have you done Shorzy yet? No. It's the spinoff. Really? Yeah. Fuck and you, Shorzy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's going to be all episodes of the new season is going to be out on the 27th on Hulu of Shorzy. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Letter Kenny, yeah, I just, think, is done. I'm on, yeah. I'm on. Yeah, I think it's done too. And I'm on a little. 
I think season six right oh now. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, yeah. it's hilarious. I mean, it's it's like my version. It's a new version of The Office. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, just with how funny it is. Yeah. You can sit down and pick up any episode, and it's hilarious. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. You're stuck in. The how are you now? Room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good and you. And then him and McMurray are always yeah. stumbling over each other. Murray. <laughs> oh, good and you. Good and you. Good and you. Good and you. <laughs> I haven't watched that the, so the dicks. On it. Oh, the dicks are the greatest. Yeah. Dick with a Y. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the bunghole. Right. <laughs> you guys uh, ever uh, been with a lady and uh, she wants to... Uh, <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> and then they just start playing catch. They start playing catch yeah. with yeah. each other. Faster and faster. Yeah, they're just like anything well, to stop. Uh, she, <laughs> wants to, <laughs> she wants to take a little trip down your dirt road. And, uh. I love the parts, though, when they're the hockey guys going yeah, at it yeah. and they're just chirping at each other. I mean, yeah. It's... Yeah. Taking the dicks in the dirts road uh, home. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All the meth head kids are good too. Yeah. Well, that show <laughs> the, is the delinquents. Yeah. Not on my top ten list here, but let's see uh, if you guys have how oh, what trendy. I want to watch uh, the ha- Fall of House Usher, but I just don't have time yet. I'm gonna start with number ten. Okay. And so everybody knows, okay. I think Nine I minutes. got this list like a week ago. Mm. Haunted Mansion. Yeah, it was alright. Seen it. Not top familiar. ten streamer. No. Is that Disney. A Disney Plus show? Like, yeah, I think yeah. so. With uh, it's a movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, it was a movie. It Eddie still Murphy. is a movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a remake of it. Okay. Different story, but same scenario. Okay. I have I've not, not seen, seen it. That. The Eddie Murphy one's still better. I. I was good as a kid. Um. Okay. So we got. We're shooting about twenty percent on that one. Okay. American Horror Story. Mm. No. No. Never got into them. <laughs> Yeah, and now they got one of the Kardashians in it and some other known name supermodel person. Well, so that show is still going, American Horror Story? Yeah. And, and, and is a Kardashian in it? Yeah. Ugh. Which one? Uh, Kim, I think. <sighs> really? Yeah. I mean, if it's Kendall. I mean, Can she act? I doubt it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she wasn't hired for that at all. No. Hired for all of her from bought the ch- four looks. Actually, she's from the chest up. Movie back when she was like 18 or 19, didn't she? When she didn't look like she does now. <laughs> <laughs> She's in one of the scary movies with Ray J. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It yeah. was a great comeback story. <laughs> yeah. It was a good comeback story. Yeah. Well, I heard. You know. He, I don't know if I can say. It. <laughs> well, you started. You might as well finish. Well, I mean, yeah, it's a good. Comeback. He finished. Like all, all good com- comebacks start when you come from behind. You <laughs> oh, know. Have you, have oh. you not seen that? <laughs> <laughs> Cover your ears, There's Chuck. A Parks and Rec deal <laughs> where, where it's a, a blooper and they're talking about comeback stories and, and Chris Pratt's character, he's Andy. like, yeah, yeah, Andy. He's like, you know, Seabiscuit, this person, <laughs> this person. And he's like, well, Kim Kardashian. And Leslie <laughs> Nope is like, no. And he's like, no, I I seen her video. She got come on her back. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole cast just starts rolling. Oh, I've laughing. seen that. I just yeah. saw that actually. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a good one. That's a funny clip. Yeah, it's um, sad. That's what the beauty standard just come to as someone that can afford to pay for all their looks you know yeah yeah i like natural beauty yeah my wife exactly uh number eight fair play <laughs> for you not for me <laughs> never heard of it never Sorry. heard of it fair play? play. no what was it fair, child's play it's called fair child's play. play is it the golf one or no that's no, full swing it's Sorry. a yeah. movie that was, that's a good that show that was awesome yeah. yeah i did watch an episode of that it was all right it's a movie <laughs> with um the new han solo guy I cannot remember his name and um, a girl. Yeah, yeah. no, <laughs> just a girl. But they, yeah, so sounds it's supposed awesome. to be pretty good. Mm-hmm. Actually, it sounds like you're getting some guy plot. girl in it. <laughs> so, all right, some guy that was Han Solo. So we're o for the last two. <laughs> How about number seven, Star Wars Ahsoka? Nope, no, nope. can't do it after they botched Boba Fett. No, yeah, and they agree. ruined Mandalorian also. They did. I was talking to the guy I was hanging out the day when we were working on my truck, and he said the same thing. Huh. He loved it, and then the last season, it's like, what the fuck are you doing? This horrible. And the same thing with Boba. He's like, Boba was good when he wasn't in it. Yeah. And the Mandalorian was in it. Right. <laughs> they screw up the Obi Wan show too on Disney Plus. No, Obi Wan was, was alright. Right. Is that okay? okay? I mean, it was just fine. Yeah. I saw a little bit of that. Yeah. Um, all right. How about, I've never even heard of this one, number six, No One Will Save You. Uh, I watched a little bit of it at work because someone else was watching it. Okay. Very Something. bad. Not familiar. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Like, bad acting, bad plot, just all around. What this says about all of us rush. is we all have lives, too. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> the guys that were watching it were like, I don't know why we're still watching. It's like a car accident, you know? You don't want to look, but you just have to take a glance, <laughs> yeah. you know? 
I was like, we started it now, it's just like I have to finish it, even though it's been horrible the whole way through. Number five, The Continental. Anybody started that no, one? No. No. I don't have Peacock, though. Oh. It's a Peacock one. You should get on the cock, man. <laughs> totally get on the cock, dude. <laughs> I can't do it. It's trending right now. I'm already beautiful. paying it for too yeah, many. Peacocks. <laughs> it's a great time. Yeah, I hear it. That's some people's jam. Just turn on that cock. Go for a wild yeah. ride. <laughs> Eight seconds is all. Dive it takes. down ah. that hole. <laughs> Great movie, Roy. Yes, it yeah. is. That that's a classic. Um, number four, Reptile. Uh, yes, we watched it here. Yeah, we watched. Well, it. Well, you guys watched it here. I oh, yeah. watched someone, bits and pieces of it. Someone petered out. <laughs> I couldn't quite make it that night. <laughs> What's rep? What is Reptile? That is. Was it Netflix or Apple? Um, it's Netflix. 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 What was it? Just get me started on it, Roy. What was it? About? Uh, Justin Timberlake is a real estate agent. Oh. And he comes to a showing, and there's a dead woman. Oh, yeah. In the living room. He bangs her. It really uh, I don't know exactly. I think there were <laughs> <their> relations. <laughs> they were having relations, I think. But I don't yeah. remember. Sounds about right. Yeah, it was his girlfriend or something. Yeah. I think, and then wife. Benicio Del Toro is in it as like, the detective. Oh, yeah, yeah. I heard that name for a long time. Yeah. Okay. And that's all I remember that's about how, it because, like I, I was in and out, dude. I was just like I couldn't. I tried, and then I'd be like, "Was it the Black Manhattan oh. night or no? No, I don't think it was, it was a podcast the, night. It oh. was the bar night. We went to Pints, right? Or no? Yeah, yeah. We went to no Fieldhouse. We Fieldhouse. Field House, yeah. And then we came back. We, oh, that was our free shot. We got a free yeah. shot. Jameson the Fieldhouse. Free. Yeah. Yeah. For free. So we're, sure your boobs. we're up there. Smart. Nope. We're just ordering our just beer. talked about getting a shot. And I was like, Roy, want to do a shot of Irish whiskey? How about that uh, Telemore do or whatever? And I'm like, how do you say it? Telemore water? And he goes, well, how about this free shot of Jameson I got over here? On me. We're like, <laughs> sure. Yeah. You talked me into it. <laughs> and it was huge. It was, it was like, like a double. Yeah. we Like I, somebody, else, almost like someone asked for like. I just want it straight, half a bottle, and then they're like, <laughs> "Oh no, this kind of like like a fi- like a finger of scotch or like two yeah. fingers type of deal." Yeah, and then uh, the, the guys like misordered or the person you ordered it for didn't want it, and it so was, was bizarre. Like, there was like yeah. a half glass full of, of or maybe it was the end of a that. bottle, and he's like, "It's not enough for a full drink or something." That doesn't make any sense. I know, but, but maybe. fuck, I don't know. Maybe they have a policy. <laughs> so yeah, maybe he night. thought you're cute. Maybe yeah, maybe maybe that's pretty mouth. Let's get crazy, but yeah, all right. Let's uh, keep powering through this list here. Totally killer. No, no, that's oh. like an '80s, back to the past. Does your like, chair go? Did you just shrink? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what happened? This one needs a So is mine. So is mine, though. I'm like looking <laughs> under <laughs> Jeff and yeah. Brad and Roy. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with it. Like, Man, <laughs> got those extra thick pants on? Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> Pocket full of quarters. <laughs> I do have a pocket full of quarters too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, you guys are going them. to Wonderland later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but it's about a girl that it's like a Freaky Friday type of thing. She goes back into time mm. when her mom's in high school, and there was like some murderer that wore a mask going around killing all of her friends and stuff. Oh, Hearing that, I think Denise watched it. I think the wife. I haven't. I just saw a preview have, for it. Yeah, I think she watched it the other night. Hence the totally part. Hmm. No. Because she's back in the eighties. Totally. So it's yeah. totally killer. Mm-hmm. Exactly. All right, number two. Let's see if we can get some traction. You gotta pick it up. You got a minute and a half. Loki season two. Nope, didn't even watch the first season. Mm-hmm. Number two. No. All right, moving on. Number one stream show, according to some list. Gen V. Nope. Nope. I believe that is the second season of The Boys on Amazon uh, nope. Prime. Didn't even yeah. watch the first. Didn't watch the first one. Yeah. Wow. The boys. I've heard Lyle good things about here. Boys, yeah. but I've never had the time to watch it. Lyle always says that's my problem. Show. I just don't have the time. Same. Yeah, same here. All I do is parent, sleep, eat, and drink, and listen to podcasts while you're climbing up ladders, Sh- trying not to die. Shimmy up. You want to <laughs> see my wound? Oh wow! Really a little shiner. shiner. What did you do? That's, That's from my shin at the deck. <laughs> shit at the How deck. many drinks in? <laughs> Not like shit in the fan. <laughs> no. yeah, my shin, <laughs> my shin at the deck. <laughs> oh, I got an itch. It was a real shinny day today. <laughs> All right. Well, that's uh. That was you guys are better than last fire week's big old trendy losers. Yeah. Apparently, we're just a bunch of middle-aged I'm guys that have no life. <laughs> Well, we've got one more segment coming up, and we're going to build the Hall of Fame of Breweries in Spokane. Oh, nice. Oh, we're yeah. limited to Spokane. So let me hit the B here, and we'll be right back. Mm-hmm. 
Roy, thanks for being the cameraman. Yeah, I couldn't hear you very well there. Roy. Oh, can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for being here. the cameraman. Oh, because the music was playing. Appreciate you. You're welcome. I do what I can. In front of us <clears throat> now, before we start our favorite segment of the week, is a kamikaze shot, mm. which is basically if you had a two-ounce shot glass, which we don't, it's um ounce and a half of vodka, half ounce of triple sec, and a dash of lime. Nice. Cheers, Cheers. fellas. Cheers. Tap. 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 Oh wow. So it's like high school. <laughs> oh. Vodka. Oh. <laughs> Heavy on the vodka. Yeah. You know. <laughs> oh, man. Come to mm. you know, It reminds me of when we used to pour vodka in Zimas. Well, we played a little game called Kill the Bottle towards mm. the end there. So. Um, and there's one another round. There's a. Whoa. We're still ready to party here. Yeah. We'll wait till the end of the segment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't have anything about the shot. I just uh, need, <laughs> needed a shot. So, I, ever since Charlie showed up, I tried. We've tried to actually have shots rather than just make something up. Oh, we've got Jaeger out here. Let's let's uh, layer it with something. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, the little wow. single shots of ninety nine apples yeah. that Lyle always brings. It's funny. We've always done a shot during the show, yeah. but it's never been on on the show. Yeah, for whatever they reason. Still have I don't think it. we've ever had a shot on the show. We've no. only had drinks. Thanks, yeah. thanks a lot for that, Ryan. Yeah. Always, no problem. We brought it out for you this time. You know? yeah. We had to, no had to, we had to test full the waters. Stop. We're official now, Brad. I feel oh. so special. At full stop, they still have the f- huge display of just the. I don't know how many shots there are in the 99. Yeah. <laughs> just maybe. <it's, clears throat> I'm going to get Lyle so that bad. for Christmas. We should, we we should all, all should. get him. You yes. know, he would just bring him here, though. But we got to wrap him in different yeah, different things. So mm-hmm. he, yeah. Put him that one year right. we bought him a candy him can of Fireball. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he loved it. Oh, well, I'm sure he did. <laughs> he's the worst. I'm he sure he did. forgets about Christmas, and we yeah. get him something. And then the next day, magically, something shows up. <laughs> at your house. It's like he just grabbed it out of his cupboard or something. Yeah, it's whatever he got from his in-laws, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Every time I see him, yeah, remember your son's name again? I'm like, yeah. dude, <laughs> what's wrong with you? We've known yeah. each other for like God. five years. And you've been a sub for him in his class yeah. for like three or four <laughs> fucking times. <laughs> what's your son's name again? <laughs> He is was. It char- is it, yeah. it Daryl? Daryl? John? <laughs> Roger? Mike? All right. We got a lot of work ahead of us, guys. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to build the Hall of Fame for the breweries in Spokane. The first round is basically to rule everything out of the list we don't think goes in the Hall of Fame. Okay. The second round is to firmly cement them into the Hall of Fame. And do you have a pre-made list of names, or we got to shoot I've off our names? I've come up with them, and then you can, if I've missed a, a big one, you can add it in. I'm going to guess you're yeah. probably going to. So we've, <laughs> I'm going for the top six is okay. considered the Hall of Fame. Oh, so I went with about 30% or 20% of the ones I came up with. Okay. So we've got Iron Goat, and I know there's a ton. Yeah. So yeah, I'm kind of, yeah. I didn't want to. Maybe oversaturated market in this know, And there's so many that there's small ones that not all of us have yeah, been yeah. to. So if we haven't, if most of us haven't been there or heard of it, then we're not going to consider it. Okay. Uh, Iron Goat, Brick West, Black Label, Whistle Punk, No Lie, Bellwether, Lumberbeard, Four Eyed Guys, Mount Lakes Brewing, Hop Chaos, Paris, Mountain Lakes. Mount, I did Mountain Lakes? No, something you said Mount Lakes. Mm. I did say Mount Lakes. Yeah. Is mountain. it Mountain? Okay. Mountain. <laughs> I mean, um, you can Mount Lake if you like. That's your thing, but... Hop Chaos, <laughs> Perry Street, Garland Works, Uprise, and Spoken Night. Okay. So... You did miss some. That's the quick one. Does anybody feel we need to add... I put Humble Abode on there. Okay. Yeah. No I agree with Humble Abode. No, no Lie was on there. Okay. Yeah. Anybody see a pen? And then, what's one? There's a Sharpie. Yeah, I think oh, right here I see a pen. <coughs> and speaking of Humble Abode. Humble below, everything on it. <laughs> humble Abode. They have a location downtown now across from the knitting factory. Haven't been there yet. Oh. And I probably won't because I don't like going downtown. Yeah. So I'll stick to their original location. <laughs> original Francis location. in Pittsburgh. Yeah. At the Chevron gas station. Take a left. If you're coming from Division. Okay. Jeff, do you have anything to add? No, I think... Uh, in fact, my you got to turn I, the mic. 
You gotta speak to the front of it. Mic, I'm buddy. sorry. I, I just yeah. grab the mic. I have a hard time grabbing something like that. <laughs> something that's skinny. You'll get used yeah, to yeah, it. Used something that's small. I w- it's yeah, two hands. <laughs> uh, no, in fact, you. What I was gonna say, my top five, you rattled off right away. So okay. good Brad, job. Did I miss anything that any place you've been to you want to add? Jeff, Jeff, it just takes one hand. Um, <laughs> no, I, no, that's actually a pretty good list. Um, Good deal. I would uh, no. I don't know if you made that or you got that from somewhere. But I aggregated it from the internet. That works. No, it's <laughs> Charlie. You want to add anything? He'd be the one to ask. Do you uh, want me to? I, I'll run through them real quick one yeah. more time, and then we're gonna, you know, go through them again and kick them out. So, mm-hmm. Iron Goat, Brick West, Black Label, Whistle Punk, No Lie, Bellwether, Lumberbeard, Four Eyed Guys, Mountain Lakes. <laughs> Thank you. Hop Chaos, Perry Street, Garland Works, Uprise, Spokenite, Humble Abode. Uh, the only one I throw in there would be For the Love of God, but I know not of us, not a lot of us have been in there. They're worth mentioning because we've got some new yeah. people in here. For the love of God. Is Hop Valley, is that Spokane no, based? No, Eugene Springfield. They are based out of Eugene Springfield? Yeah. Okay. I just knew they had a tap room here up north. And oh, do they? Yeah, they have one up kind of uh, like right off of where uh, Highway 206 up to Mount Spokane. Hmm. Comes in right next to the Chevron right down there. Hmm, I did not know that. Yeah, they're Wait, pretty damn good. That's Hop Chaos. No, I think that's Hop Valley, isn't it? The one, the by, one by the, Target? By the 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 park of the, v, the RV the park. The RV park. That's Hop Chaos. Oh, it's Hop Chaos? Yeah. Oh, okay. Either way, it's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a tap house or a brewery, though? It's a brewery. Oh, I haven't oh, been to that one. I believe so. Maybe I'm mixing this all up. I though. thought Hop Chaos was the one by Target. Um, hmm. By the... Like, yeah, that w- it used to be just a shop. It used to be a tap house. Yeah, tap house. I think now it was it's called, a brewery now. Wasn't it called like Pints? <clears throat> pints or something, yeah. Yeah. Now it's an actual brewery. It is a brewery. We went in there on Amy's uh, birthday night. The, yeah. We and Andrew it? went there on a date night once. And I asked them, and they brew off site. Yeah. yeah, I'm bringing it in. I've only been there once, so I don't really remember. Good beer. That was a cool place. I like that place. Okay. I'd like to try that Mexican <laughs> restaurant next door to it. It's good. So, this first wave, we're going to go through and mark the ones that are red that aren't going to go in. I'll put Bellwether on that. Okay. Yep. Agree. Oh, that, that isn't going in? Yeah. Yep. Let's rule. Let's mark the ones out. If they're, I drink a lot of I'll just go through each Bryce. of you. You got any no-goes? So, Roy is going to take Bellwether. And so or who Chuck. said that? Me and Chuck both said it. Okay. Chuck's got to think of a new one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, um, I'm just saying I got more power because it was a two-vote. Jeff Array. There's a few of them that I hadn't really heard of. Um, okay. I have a few in my mind that I want to move on, but as far as moving off, like I said, I don't I don't remember a couple of the names of them just because I had never heard of them. Sure, that's fine, but there's nothing that you want to take off. No, okay. no, not directly. Brad, how about you? Yeah, I kind of second that. I'm, I'm, I'm really curious why Beltweather's off. I spent a lot of time there early was, on. But I think they just tried. We'll talk about that yeah. next okay. round. All right, all right. <laughs> Here, <laughs> Charlie, you got anything? Oh. Uh, no, I'm yeah, almost just kicked over the chainsaw. You're good. <laughs> I'm you never know when you need a chainsaw at a bar, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> it's right there, though. Yeah, <laughs> just in case. Just Jason fired it up around. a couple days ago. Yeah, nice. Uh, for love of the god, I'm gonna call off. Yeah, I'm glad we added that though. Just call off. <laughs> I want to give it another try yep. after what you said have a couple e- episodes ago. Have either of you guys? Gone to For Love of the God Brewing. Well, you guys don't it's live across from Tecate. Oh, it's, it's oh, down the street from Tecate. It, it, it's no, it's right the, across it's the right street. Across the street. <sighs> really? Yes. <laughs> well, apparently he's never been there. Where's Tecate around here? That's right. What's that? Northwest Boulevard and. You know where uh, Harold's vacuum cleaner place, repair place is? Yeah. It, it's right where. Yeah. Northwest TJ Boulevard. Audubon Park. And, oh, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a brewery there now? Yes. Yeah. For like. Four years or so now, five they years. Oh, yeah. They're a brewery. Yeah, yeah they're a brewery. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I said and that. A we're we're up now. north, yeah. so yeah, we don't. No. no, I drive by there all the time. The only place I've been to right around there is the radio bar. I've been there. Yeah, Ooh, which is great. Right here, we love that place. That's a great. That's a great place. Yeah. Okay, well, good deal. Well, we're gonna try the for love of the god place again, but it is not in the hall of fame yet. Currently, could move okay. up. So we're gonna try to narrow this list down to six. So. Um, this is where I'll name the one, and you kind of say it's in, or we're going to think about in it. In top five. Okay. We're going to top six. Six. Okay. Because one, two, three, four. Yeah, anyway, Iron Goat. Who says green? Who says it's definitely in the I'd say thing? it's green. Yeah. It seems like it kind of has to be, because it's... We do the, are we still, can we do the yellow, or... We uh, could. Just, it, 
Yeah, put it on. Chuck wants a yellow. I'll do a green, green, but I will say I like the original location off of Napa. <clears throat> you know, it was I like never an went in old there. industrial building. You can steal that. I do agree place. that yeah, that was yeah. they were way better back when they were at the old location over yeah. there. Yeah, I yeah. If if they were still there, I'd say absolutely Hall of Fame. Did you ever go there at their original building, Chuck? No. No. Oh. I'm going to yellow it. Okay. I'm going to use my executive powers. Brick West. Green. Yeah. I'd green that one also. Green. green. Considering I'm drinking Brick yeah, West, West yeah, it's absolutely a green. They're mm-hmm. like one of my, yeah. Okay. We've got some. I love that beer. I would yell I would yell that one just because I've, I've only been there twice. And they have Euler. Oh. They do have Euler. <laughs> Euler um. or the Cooler. <laughs> have you tried Euler? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like a peppermint schnapps. <laughs> Like super peppermint, maybe even spearmint. It's I'm like gonna a green peppermint them. cinnamon okay. chops. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. In the mix. It's, it's delicious. Uler yeah. is the god of winter or, or snow or something. We got to do that. Oh, here. we will. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lyle brings Lyle it. Lyle brings it all. Time. Okay. Yeah. You can get it at the Tamarack. You can. Yeah. I yeah. see that. Pla- <laughs> I, I, no, I always see it in the most random places. Yeah. I don't think it's something they're gonna stock at like a legit liquor store, yeah. but it's always at like grocery store liquor stores. You know. <laughs> Uh, so green for Brick West. Um, black label. Who's been there? I've been there quite a few times. Absolutely. Um, yes. I'll do a yellow. Really? I, See, think I, I, I think their beer is amazing. I like the sometimes they, I haven't had enough of it. So sometimes yeah, it's, sometimes they go a little out there, though. They're they do have some out there ones, hmm. but they're also in such a classic place. It they're is. In the that Serenet is a cool building. Commons, yeah, Commons, right? yeah. Mm-hmm. That restaurant there is good too. The Sarah. Sar- 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 yeah. Sar- yeah. I'll go. I'm gonna go yellow. I, I haven't really had too I'd many other beers, so yeah. I, I think it's know. it's definitely underrated for the area. Yeah. I think it's because it's location, because it's it's not like its own standalone building. Okay. So I think people think of it. They go into the go to the restaurant or one of the little yeah craft shops there, and then they're like, oh, I'll give it a try. It's kind of like a hidden secret. They've been around for a long weekend. time too. Yeah. yeah. I think mm-hmm. so. Yeah. Do you know who it is? Is yeah, Chase it's, uh, Roller? No, it's Stephen Wells. Yeah. Uh, he was a uh, union local 44 pipe fitter. Uh, worked with him for a long time. But then him, Dan Dorvac, and uh, Josh Fox is Josh big. Josh Fox, in, that's the one I know. He's big yeah. into it as well. I don't know if he's a part owner, but I know that Steve, I mean, when we were working together in Portland, that was he'd offer to drive, and we'd go to breweries every, mm. every Sunday or only day off. We'd drive around, and me and my buddy, we'd – ride with him and drink the whole way down and get drunk and he'd drive back so but we i mean you know we'd drive damn near to klamath falls from portland just oh my god yeah when right before they were getting ready to open (laughs) just to get ideas yeah it was it was a really cool deal how they got it open and whatnot that's yeah let's yellow it but i'm really high on it brad have you been there i have not uh i've not been there for a long time though okay so i probably yellow it um they also have uh i can't it's like a ron burgundy themed IPA. Mm-hmm. It is pretty good. <laughs> Whistle Punk. I've only been there a couple times, so I can't really judge it. It I've is a cool building. <clears throat> it is a really cool building. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool building. I've I like never been beers. there. So I'm going to give it a green. we got one green and a bunch of people that have... I'll yell that one. Yeah, that one's okay. It's okay. I've only been there twice, and it was a long time ago, so... Was I don't remember what the beer there? tastes like. Yeah. But I don't know if it's still good. Let's green it. Let's yellow it. <laughs> no lie. Mm. I think it's got to be a green. I would green it, that one. Big to be oh, man. I'm going to be the yeah. thorn of the side. I'm going to red. I'm going to red it, too. Red it? Yeah. They aren't my favorite beer, but for... They're over... For, it's oversaturated now. Oversaturated. Well, Nothing thing, special about but it. Though. But it is a Hall of Fame. Look at Tom Brady. I mean, I know, we don't like, like him, but you can't one deny... one beer out of that entire brewery that I would buy and drink. Yeah. The, my juicy. favorite beer they've ever had, they discontinued. Yeah. So I'm like... Spin Cycle? No, the... <laughs> big Wait, is that the one that had the yeah, coffee? Big Juicy is the only one I go no. for. Big, yeah. big Juicy isn't bad, but no, they had a coffee one years and years and years ago hmm. that was really good. It was a stout. And I, mean, I, I love what they do oh, for Spokane. And yep. Their outreach and everything, and that they're but, everywhere. But beer-wise? But no. I don't think it's... I think a lot of people think it's great because it's like the flagship. They drink it for the name. Biggest one, yeah. Right. Shadle alums. You're right. Well, that doesn't matter. I'm Are not, they really? I have yeah. no connection to Shadle. I don't care yeah. about who owns it. Boo this man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm with Chuck. Brew better beer. They're at the same It'd be like, yeah. all the time. Who was giving me crap about but, it? Oh, that was wild. But the brewery's cool. Like, look it, at where it, it's yeah, at. It, it They've got great food. Uh, oh, yeah. Big the Red Bones. 
Yeah. That should be big oh, but yes, I'm I'm going to say you should add Big Red Barn and they should be an automatic green. Big Barn because yeah, yeah. is it? Awesome. It's not Big Red Big Barn, barn Brewery. Big, big Barn. Okay. Well. In the interest of time, I'm going to green it. <laughs> and we'll if we end up, we with might too have to many, get off this podcast. Fight to the death yeah. for it. You guys are crazy. Sure. They're like a Spokane staple. Whether yeah, you like them or not, beer is beer. Is it anything do. special though? We're talking about breweries with beer. I could like, go to any all about their big beer. Name. Their beer is not good. They had six dollars six packs a couple so years ago, times. and you during can get, COVID. You, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Everybody had cheap stuff during COVID because well, they had to get rid no, of they did some big fundraiser. You can. I got. Yeah, I got the two growler ca- fills. No, this, no, this was flat. Oh, I got two. I got forty-eight beers for twenty-two bucks. Does it taste Not. like shit? <laughs> actually, no. I got one of the ones that I actually like from there. That wasn't bad. I, I do get it, though. <laughs> All right. Next one. We'll, we'll have more I'm with time. you on it, Chuck. We'll have more time for No Lie in a minute. Uh, Bellwether has been red. Uh, the reason I read that is I didn't like it. I've been there twice. I've tried this a couple years ago. I think I tried every beer they had just looking for something that I yeah. liked, and it was all... The best beer I ever had there Just was a collaboration like with a mead company. They're doing like a mead fest, and that was the best beer I ever had there, and it wasn't even theirs. Mm-hmm. You know it's actually called Med? I don't believe that. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys just went there a couple years ago. For again? Right? Yeah, I mean, it was... I wanted yeah. it to be good because it was the ago? first brewery in this part yeah. of town. All right. And I'm like, there sweet, a... something close. Yeah. And then we went there. I went there multiple times with my old neighbor, and every time we were like... So They I'm... had so much right out the gate that yes. nothing was great. It was all just like... Yeah, it's drinkable, but like they were all weird. It was like pineapple great. crushed, you know, the spikies part ground into things and dust and put in the beer and stuff. It's weird. See, in 2016, I would have voted green on that a little bit because I, I I remember when they opened down there, but to the a lot buddy, of people like it. But to I've their buddy always... bartended down there for a long time, but it just it's kind of fallen off the uh, wagon a little bit. Do you bartend at a brewery, or do you just pour beers? Yeah, or are you called a bartender at a brewery, or are you called he, something else? He called himself a bartender, but Who he was also this got... person? What was his name? Are you a, brewer, a brewerista? I, 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 think, I think for court rules, well, you got to leave that <laughs> He also called himself a punk rocker past 40, but... You know, yeah. <laughs> Let's take a quick pause. All right, we're going to pause it up and come back. I said pause. Finish this up. <laughs> I know. I left the L out. You forgot the L. <laughs> 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 Someone's gonna get slapped. Though. A couple episodes ago, we did like oh, three fourths of the show with a huge water bottle right in front of Roy. <laughs> it was one of those goddamn Stanley Cups. All these housewives no, are running around with Stanley Cup. Or it was uh, Andreas. Oh, Andreas. Andreas. Yeah. Oh, God. It was I don't know how she left it out here. Yeah. You can't miss it. Megan showed me some video on YouTube or or something where it was like the the guy, the husband set up his phone and she comes home from whatever she's doing workout with mm-hmm. her Stanley and he went and bought like one of the <laughs> yeah. small garbage cans yeah. and drilled the handle on it and like oh dude was I've seen that with Colgan bottles yeah. like husband's like, hey, yeah. like, Colgan bottles, bottles and whatnot she just starts dying Does laughing it was funny oh, yeah. Yeah. oh you already got me yeah it was yeah. pretty funny if there's enough I'll take another I like there's go. always room for one more Roy <laughs> it's mostly water at this point dirty Mike and the boys <laughs> <laughs> I gotta rewatch that one. That's so many good lines in that. Jesus, you're Mason you half it on the table. Well, I was. Oh, I'm tempering the bar, Roy. I'm talking about. Oh, good old slippery hands over here. Oh. <laughs> Pouring one out for his homies out of my shot. <laughs> oh, you need me to top it off? No, it was already it's topped it off was, now. You have a forty night. <laughs> Charlie's is topped off. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. overflowed and topped off. Yeah, <laughs> that's what the leather's for. <laughs> Cheers. You can chew on it after. Woo! Oh yeah, it's got a little. What's the water? It. It's like that's what water should taste like. Yeah, you know. I drink a lot more of it if it did. <laughs> All right, that Monday morning would feel a lot <laughs> yeah, better if that's my water. My jaw would like. be a lot better. <laughs> Roy, are you still cutting us off at eighteen? Yeah. Okay. So that way, there's a little bit of leadway. Yeah. All right. So we're we're really in the thick of this. Is anybody? Is everyone hanging uh, in there? We thought about we okay. well, we thought about one that we'll, yeah 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 out oh, in the valley. Yeah, they're they're good. And I'm for me solely, I'm judging this off of beer, not like atmosphere. Yeah, like that's what I'm itself. I'm going off an actual beer. I'm not that's, going off atmosphere, food, nothing. I'm going by beer. That's Name, branding, none of that. Yep. 
I'm considering their cultural community impact, the no. beer, oh, the length of time they've sakes. been here, yeah. the can, the stickers. Give your balls a tug, man. Yeah. How hot the, the women are. How can I, Roy? Ever since I got them chopped off, they're <laughs> sucked right up there. Scar tissue is on the Putting yeah. gas in a broke down truck. Yeah, I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> I do that every two weeks. Just waiting for it to go. Let's see. Just so you know, I still got mine. I'm still <laughs> blowing full. He's fully loaded. That's a scary thought. Blessed is he. No His tracers. Is full. Into the shower tub. It's like walking around Northtown with an AR on your back. <laughs> Charlie's shower drain has a garbage disposal in it. Yeah. <laughs> Seinfeld, man. Kramer, dude. I've seen the hey, just this whole salad little, in the shower. Yeah, little PSA. If you're doing that in the shower, don't use Axe body wash. I don't use Axe. Well, I'm just letting you know. Why? It turns into a concrete. Yeah. It's all the all the fraternities, dude. Yeah. They had a lot of fraternities. That's a tr- that's true. It was a it was a real issue in yeah. uh, the Kuwait showers. A lot of clogs. Yeah. <laughs> the BX had to stop selling Axe body wash. It was it was a epidemic of mass proportions. They had to put out a little PSA on the shower stalls. So we went from breweries to <laughs> clogging up drains, clogging up drains with <laughs> semen, yeah, and axe, yeah, 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 just the body wash, yeah. not the spray. But I don't recommend that either. <laughs> that might burn. So <laughs> it, was it just your shower rule? No, or? all of them. <laughs> you sure it wasn't axe hair gel? Well, that would, <laughs> that would really be a problem. Depends on how much friction you need. Yeah, yeah. You might be losing winter, some winter skin. glove, or are we talking? You know, <laughs> yeah, we talk, we're talking old man winter glove. It's got to be the old, the old worn leather. I know. I talked about this. I know. Carried. It can't be wool axe or yeah. wheelbarrow handle. Yeah, that just is formed. Yeah, it's just super Perfect. smooth <laughs> yeah. and just ready to rock. I'd yeah. take that thing after it's got a little sweat in it. Pop it in the microwave oh. for about twenty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Like warm apple pie. Warm apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lumber beard. Lumber beard. Oh, no. God. Yeah, I'm going red on that. And that mm. is an atmosphere oh, thing for man. me. I'm going green as far as beer goes. Wait, Ooh, which what? brewery? Lumber beard. Really? No, on God. beer? We, we didn't have a good first experience, and that was my only experience. Was that the, we only went there once. Yeah. But we've been trashing that place for like a f- <laughs> four years. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going on beer itself. Well, like, their when, beer is When we do awesome. our thing, well, that'd be one of the stops. Yeah. We'll do the love of God. Atmosphere, yeah. It feels like you're in a hospital. Yeah. That's why I don't like that's it. That's why it sucks. How and it's called Lumber Beer. Okay, but their beer? Yeah. Where is it at? It's on third. Straight right across from Dick's. Third and Division. Yeah. Okay. You can get I get the hospital feel. Yeah, the building is big, but yeah, it's very white. What kind like of beer? Everything is it inside like, is white. It's and called it's just lumber like beer. Long. Like, yeah. This is more of a lumber beer. What kind of what kind of beer do they have? Like what everything. are they like? Oh, everything. Well, I, I realize yeah. they have everything, but like you say, it's really good. What's your favorite? Uh, IPAs. Yeah. Okay. Stouts. I mean, the other IPAs oh. are really good. They have uh, flavored nuggets, which is kind of think they're every. Their beer is know. decent. Really? I mean, it's normal beer. Might have so I've only had it that one time, and I've been bashing it. Go down the, and get a whammy yeah. and have a lumber It just threw beer. me off, because lumber beer, I'm like, oh, it's going to be like dark, natural wood, live edge. Yeah. You go in there, it's like you're going into surgery. Hospital cafeteria. Yeah, yeah and I'm like, oh, this really kind of <clears throat> dampened my experience. We're gonna, so I've never been back. We're going to yeah. go red. <sighs> Sorry, Ooh. I have to be against you on this one, but I'm willing to give it another try. Yeah. Are you guys still cool, though? Well, it feels like we, you're way asking your opinion. You're just going the opposite of what everyone's saying. No, I'm not. Didn't I didn't say <laughs> red. He's never been there. You've never been there. I say red. You say red. Don't yeah. do anything for the beer. Okay, four-eyed guys. I've only never been there been once. There. We'll make it yellow, okay? <laughs> four-eyed guys. Red. You've never been? Nope. I've been there. It's, been I've been there once. I remember their beer was Average. good. But I, we went we there went at there. Like 11 in the morning once. Yeah. <laughs> with the girls um, and like Sully and Casey were both sick and some is that why we were both yeah. off for whatever reason we ended up there in the day yeah we dropped all the kids off for, for school lunch. and then we we're running around and we're like hey let's go have lunch yeah it was kind of it was a fun time it's a very I liked it. it's a cool vibe it's, it's really got small like a, it's industrial and you can see like the HVAC system and everything and they have like a bunch of uh, Chuck house plants care about that I know but I'm saying like that? it's cool too it's got a good vibe <laughs> But yeah, I wouldn't put it top six. You're not so you're no. you're redding it? Dude, yeah. if you're gonna put four right above Lumberbeard. Well, that's a he does have executive powers, he's wielding Alright, let's yellow it. 
<laughs> Mountain Lakes Brewing. I've never I'd been go there. Green. Never been. I'd green. Red. Never been. Some, I would say I don't like their beer. I, I yeah, it's One a my hard red for me. Places. Definitely a red. That's fine. Do what you will, but I'm just saying. It's well, a good spot. Why don't you like it, Charlie? Never been there. <laughs> it's how can it, you go red then? Because he doesn't know. I've been there a couple times, and and every beer I've had there, it's I don't know if it's something wrong with their taps. That was obnoxious, but uh, I don't know if it's something wrong with their taps or like every time I've been there, it's like they still have soap in the tap, or hmm. like there's always like everything tastes funny, like yeah. out of the beer, and they're like, oh no, this is normal, like that's like that's how it's hmm. supposed to taste, and not a fan. I never had that experience. Though. Go ahead, Brad. Sorry, keep it in the reach. I know, soap in the tap. They sanitize For, yeah, when they sanitize the taps, like I don't know, once every what? six months, something like I don't know how often they do it, but it Pretty just often. it it just yeah. didn't. You know, you ever washed a cup and sure. felt like there's still a drop of soap still in there? So, like just, oh, mm. just yeah, not a fan. Hard red. Hmm. I've never thought that would be a tap issue. I'd always go with a glass issue on that. And it could be, but when it was multiple different glasses and multiple different types of beer, like they all just, like there was an aftertaste. Well, it could be a glass thing because if all the glasses are going through the same washer. Mm -hmm. This has been multiple times I've been there. Oh, multiple different. Yeah, like I've been there two or three times and it's just every time, (laughs) it's just not right. So what do we do when we run into an unstoppable forest meeting and (laughs) immovable object? (laughs) We yellow it. (laughs) Hop chaos. I've only been there once, so I can't judge. But yeah, I probably would say in my top five. I'm gonna read it. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I went in there once. It was in the winter. And they had like a job posting, and I was like, "How much help do you need?" I was just, like, kind of being goofy. Mm-hmm. Lady did not respond well to it. Mm. She must not need that much help. Nope. <laughs> I can't even remember <laughs> the exact circumstances. But <laughs> it was just a weird vibe, mm. and I didn't like. I don't like that. It's kind of like the only spot in that tight vicinity to go it mm-hmm. just seemed like one of those places that's like yeah we got our clientele yeah they're we're gonna, gonna need come here you. no matter what yeah people are gonna see it when they go to all I the shopping that. centers i hate that yeah all right perry street i'd green that i haven't been there in a while but every time i have gone it's been pretty good yeah i've never been there i'd that's go right. yellow green like brad we're gonna green it. i haven't been there for like four or five years but when i used to go frequently when it was one of the fewer locations that Spokane had it was always good never had a bad experience in there I've only I went the last month there they just started serving their own food that's how long ago it has been oh okay okay. they used to always have the food truck that's right yeah that's right (laughs) this is what I do with Lyle all the time he needs a little support (laughs) you gotta give him a little back rub every now and then that's where he wears wears tight shirts that's right oh that's sweet okay Garland Works I've only been there the one time with you Oh, wow. Yeah, I've read that one too. Oh, red. Oh, mm. beers like are terrible. It. I got a crawler from there. Never been there, but I've had some from a growler and was not impressed. I've been there a handful of times. No. It was. No, I've only been there the one time. You didn't like the beer? No, no. beer is terrible. Huh. I'm pretty patient too. I'm pretty like understanding, but yeah, that that was. That was like last. And the so original owners, there. they sold it already. They only mm. owned it for a few years, and they got rid of it. I guess we're gonna have to <laughs> yeah. read that. Yeah. Uprise. Yeah, I haven't been. It's good. I've not been. I'd green it. I would green that. I like you all their go. beer. That's it's good. it's a good atmosphere. They've got good food. Their beers. And their outdoor seating is heated. Yeah. Uh, yes. Very. It is. Very like, well. Like you can go in there in ten degree weather and it's you're going to be staying warm. It's no problems whatsoever. Yeah. It's and they got a really and good it's smash cool place. Burger. Yes, they do. Yeah. yeah, it's sorry. I got way too excited about <laughs> he, that. He I really apologize. likes smash burgers. <laughs> well, I actually <laughs> no, I'm not a big fan of them to be honest with you. Oh. But they have a very very. Yeah. We're gonna Wisconsin get Jeff burger. One of those mics that hooks onto his ear. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he needs one. I do. He's, I he's do. too much of a mover. Um, did, yeah. What did you say, Brad, on that one? Oh, I've, never, I've actually never been there, so okay. I can't. Uh, but a, a smash we actually went together there. before Chris Stapleton, but the girls ex it. Ooh, brutal. Did you like it? Have you He's been never there? been, never been, been there. there. Yep. It's a Is good he even listening to you, Chuck? I hear it all at first, and then you start talking too <laughs> long, and then, then I forgot it all. <laughs> um, that place is awesome. Yeah. I'd green it's that It's close one. to Vantage Point Brewing, my probably my favorite brewery right now that I can think of in yeah. Coeur d'Alene. That's good. You went there, right? Yeah. 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 Same type of vibe. Uh, Spokenite. 
I think they got a little work to do. Yeah, I'd yellow. put a yellow. I'm in the middle yeah. of that one too. That's. I think if yeah. if they move location, got a bigger system, I think they'd be it's better. It's called the Night, though. I understand they need that. a better location. Their location. They read up their game. Their parking lot is awful. Well, it's yeah, because they already own the building. Horrible. Yeah, and yeah. it's hard when your yeah. rent's probably nothing. I mean, yeah. they probably own it. They don't have any. And they're renting so. the offices off to right. other that people. Has nothing to do with the beer, though. I know it doesn't. I know. Well, you guys, hey, I, that's what I was trying to say from the freaking get-go. Yeah. You guys are the ones talking, well, the atmosphere's great, food's great, you know. Beer no, sucks, but fuck, food's their, great. Their beer's okay. <laughs> but if they... Has the had, universe wronged him in some way today? <laughs> <laughs> this is like That's why I'm going to come beer. back to Lumberbeard. It's like, their man. beers blows a lot of those breweries out of the water. Their atmosphere might suck, but, dude, their beer is fucking awesome. Dude, Roy, look at all those saying? bottles around him. He's bitter. He's do they do, do they do growlers and all that kind of yeah, stuff? Yeah, all of them do. Sometimes, no, they don't. Well, um, I don't know Lumberbeard. I I no, do I mean, know that there's a few of them that do not. Oh well, that's because they're small. I thought you were talking about yeah. Same with but, the Yaya Yaya beers. Yeah, it's it's good, good so stuff. Good. It's really yeah. good. I could spend a day there. Fluffy puffy sunshine. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And their men's uh, bathroom. A day? How about a week? Worth a trip. Just use the men's bathroom. We'll just brighten your day. Yellow. What? what? On Yaya? On Spoken Night. Oh, okay. I was like, are you okay. kidding me? Humble abode. I'd put that green. Yeah, green. I've never been. Never been. Well, you should never go. Been. Going off of beer, it's... Um, yeah. Read it. We've all three of us never been. I'm going to green it. Yeah. <laughs> you should always go with mine and Chuck's opinion <laughs> on breweries. Uh, Big Barn? Green. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'd also green that one. I've never had a bad beer there. Yeah, and it's a sweet spot. Yeah, it's this it's whole beer conversation's got me because I I go there. I couldn't have a bad beer there. No. We're going there tomorrow. You know, with the atmosphere, like the atmosphere totally makes yeah. the beer taste bad at Lumber Beer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I bought it plenty of them from the Fairwood Market, and they are all delicious. They are delicious as well. On that walk home in a hundred degree day, and they pull one out of the cooler, and you pop one of the six pack, and. <laughs> The wife glares at you funny because you're walking down Hastings, but still, you know. <laughs> yeah, she's driving home from a 15-hour day at work. You're like, <sighs> no, no, we just walk over there. It's oh. walking distance for us, so gotcha. that's what I'm saying. Walking on the way home. Uh, green, yeah, yeah. Green. Green. I green. thought we just said that. Green. Yeah. Oh, green? No, we hadn't even talked about it yet. Oh, well, yeah. I thought we were talking about it before we read Barn. Okay. So, to recap... Was that in the mic? I thought I turned away far enough. No, no. Oh, that's yeah. right. <laughs> so, yellow, uh, Iron Goat, we have yellow. Brick West, we have green. Black Label, yellow. Whistle Punk, yellow. No Light, green. Bellwether, red. Lumberbeard, yellow. Four Eyed Guys, yellow. Mountain Lakes, yellow. Hop Chaos, red. Perry Street, green. Uh, Garland Works, red. Uprise, green. Spoken Night, yellow. Uh, Humble Abode, green. Big Red Barn, green. Yeah, yeah, green. So we have seven. We need to cut one out. So let me read the greens. Yeah. Brick West, No Lie. I'd cut No Lie. Perry Street, No Lie. Yeah. Uprise, Humble, Big Yard, or Big Barn, and Yeah, yeah. I would cut No Lie lie. anytime. Yeah, it's hard to cut No Lie. When someone says, Take me to a good place with a good beer. Yeah, I would not, not take them there. Nola. Exactly. The only reason I'm going to Nola is for the food. Right. I mean, Atmosphere. and then the beer is yeah, just food. like, right. hey, great. You know, it's there might nothing be nothing you can't get anywhere. Right. No. Food's part of the brewery. Yeah. What? Well, the food is there. part of the brewery, but it doesn't count as there. the brewery. You can the, okay. Let's take the beer out of Nola. Yeah. You could still go there for the food. You know what I mean? And yeah. yeah, they got cool stuff. They're amazing for the community. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about straight beer, right? It's all good beer, but it's, it's nothing that's. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's average. It's better than Budweiser. Waking up with a boner to go to Nola, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Exactly, and that's that's the truth. You know, I mean, it's it's like okay, we're going to Nola. We're in the area. They got good food. The beer isn't horrible, but it's not. Yeah. Okay, we take out Nola. Yep, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, I would so, be mad if they made the top. Six. Brick West, Perry Street, Uprise, what? Humble Abode. Oh yeah. Big Barn and Yaya. I've never been to Yaya. So you I should go. Talk on that one. I've told you that Where is many it? times. It's off the Pines exit, I believe. 
Yeah, the location you, sucks. Oh, yeah, you got it. Once you take the Pines exit, you take a left over I ninety back across the freeway. Yeah, and then wait, take so a left it's still again. Valley. Yeah, yes. it's like a different Indiana. city. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> fuck that. That's perfectly fine. I have to tempt Roy to attack me every yeah. now and then. You know, get him alive. I get it, Ryan. I don't like going <laughs> south of Francis, and I out of what I mean. And like, I get south of Francis or east of. Division, and I'm like, oh, oh god, yeah. I'm going into. It feels no. like I'm in Seattle, right? right? I don't know. I don't no. like it. They love it. Yeah, I would throw Snow Eater on there, but that's all nobody like. Yeah, which is technically a one different of these days. Place. We will bring this segment into, you know, greater more regional. Spokane area. We do like live, like we, we just travel and go to each brewery and just do like yeah. a live, like five minute session at the brewery. Do like a taster. Yeah, okay. do beer at each one. That'd be fun. That'd be that fun. would be fun. We'd have to find a driver. No. Yeah. Got to knock your wife up again. <laughs> what is Carter? I nominate Carter. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say Carter's here. T- <laughs> Sixteen by next uh, you know. next yeah, time this next year. year. Yeah. So next Christmas year, Christmas present this weekend. This weekend next year, <laughs> we can do it. It'll be his first outing. In my book, if you can't even take your socks off of your feet and put them in a laundry basket, why would I let you drive a car? <laughs> hey, yeah. no. Black Friday next year, Carter's taking us to all these places. <laughs> why's it got to be Black Friday? Why's it got to be black? <laughs> <laughs> why's it always about black with you? White you always got to go there. <laughs> what, what do you mean, you people? I always thought it was weird you change your last name from Robertson to White. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, well, that was perfect timing. Should we wrap it up? Yeah. Should we? Uh, Let's wrap this one up. <laughs> Roy likes to tie it up to the end of that. All right. Well, no. Okay. Well, everyone, hope you have a good week. That is the end of the episode. The, oh, the end of the episode. Oh, thank you for having us on, Ryan. No, oh. yes, sir. Okay. I thought we we're just stopping sure. the segment. I said wrap it up, Roy. Oh, I thought the segment. Okay, we'll go closing thoughts then. Perfect. Well, I'd like to thank our special guests for coming on the show today. Yeah, nice having you again. Yeah. This one will actually get aired. <laughs> thank you for the invite, and I'm happy for the aired one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it means a lot after the spill drink and everything that transpired. We'll so. see if you get another invite. Yeah. It's a real <laughs> test. <laughs> we got a pretty... Uh, we got a lot about you, right? <clears throat> yeah. We got a long list of people just dying to get on this show yeah, we, we kind of do yeah <laughs> they are. That's very, no, it's very lined nice. up yeah um yeah so this was a good good episode i like building those hall of fames i think i'm kind of learning how to you know it's a tricky one i should have made it you need to do your research a little bit better well it's really the percent that you're going to put in because we greened <laughs> seven had to cut one so yeah. it makes all the yellows irrelevant. we need to go out on they the field like dead. roy and i were talking about on the in the break mm. we got to go out on the field do some taster flights do some tasters boots on the ground yep. i mean that's yep. the only way to figure stuff this yeah. kind of stuff out that's you know true. yeah and it would be the real and do word. it live yeah. you know <laughs> that would be we take could make this into a three this. hour podcast and do like fifteen minutes at each brewery, you know. That and would just work. See what we see what we're thinking. Go on a party bus in between. Get that no, get the Uber yeah. driver with the Tesla and just make sure it doesn't just leave us somewhere random. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we haven't had good I'm down for a there. walk. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. I would do that for I sure. I mean you could walk yeah. to a lot of them ones downtown. All the yeah. bars and uh, breweries we well that I've asked have all said yes to us recording there. Yeah. So we still need to do the Bougie place. Oh, Bijou. B- yeah, is it Bijou? Bijou. 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 Yeah, Bijou. Bijou. Where is what is this yeah. a brewery? One is, in, no, it's a cocktail bar. One's yeah. in Ooh. Brown's Edition, and the other one's up on 29th. Yeah. Brown's the Edition. Store. Where at? Uh, sunset. Right before our sunset starts. Before you go across by the, the Sunset bridge. Junction. Yeah. 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 So you have, and then you can go down. You know what I'm talking about? You either yeah. go up Sunset Hill or go down to yeah. whatever that place is called. Uh, Vinegar yeah. Flats. Yeah, Vinegar, mm. it's right there on the right. Little tiny, really? it's like a triangle building, super small. Is the atmosphere like Sunset I've Junction? I've never been in there, but it oh, used to be like a coffee, little coffee stand building. Yeah. I want to get stabbed. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I would go to the one on 29th if I was going to go to one of yeah. them. Yeah. I'd go to the orig- that yeah, that one down there and let's see what it's like. You I know? think I mean, it'd be cool. Five of us, we can hold up two. Well, I think that would fill it. Yeah. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> it's probably no bigger than, the actual building is probably not much bigger than Linda's. 
Good deal. Yeah, you well, to turn the light on. Look that. Oh shoot. Too late now. Are you gonna get up? Oh, I mean, it's over. People need to see it. There we go. <laughs> I knew this light was a little weird. Yeah, <laughs> that's why. You didn't get that red glow. Well, Charlie, do you have any final thoughts? Oh, <laughs> uh, no. It's been a great week. Good weekend. Uh, great night tonight. Yeah. Has it yeah, been a good weekend? Good. It has. Yeah. You know how my weekend went? I got off at work at 6-ish. Drove up to Priest Lake. Got there at 8.30 after eating. Went to bed. Woke up. Grabbed the trailer. Came back home. Went to two soccer games. <laughs> ate food and then came here. Yeah. You brought You're, the trailer home this morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get the spin props to you, buddy. Prop, I, I. You're at Priest Lake for a night, so you're yeah. you're better than I yes. was. Yeah, have was, you winterized it or did you do it up there? I drained the water out of it. <laughs> well, I, mean, I told him out the lines it back or up. anything mm-hmm. else. I told him we're good for a light freeze. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be you, for this. I'm gonna do wow. that tomorrow. You did. Have you seen the Thursday Friday temperatures? They've all bounced Lows? up. They're all above freezing. Oh no! I heard this morning it was 29 it on might Friday snow. night. Yeah, I heard I heard chance of snow. Like, yeah, no. Tuesday night. Well, but it was only like a thirty-two degree night. But for Thursday, Friday, twenty-nine. Get some of that pink stuff in there, Ryan. Hell, he did that and has and has five kids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not concerned off of what I'm seeing here. Well, I'm gonna hop to it. <laughs> I'm get the Just let me tell you, I know a guy. So we I, thought he was good. Yeah. And it didn't work out for him. I've already mocked you relentlessly for years after that, so I have to put pink stuff in there. Yeah. <laughs> I but thought I was good just draining the lines. You didn't you didn't just think you were good. You were like, guys, yes. I'm good. Yeah. Nope. No I was pink stuff for me. Totally what? Ryan, I got nineteen on Friday night. Oh, that's not here. That's up in Mead, man. That's well, I mean <laughs> <laughs> like I go by the airport, away. bro. Okay. All right. Well, let's shut it down, everyone. We'll see you next week. Yep. Have a good one. Take care. Peace or out, not. guys. Later. And for Lyle, ciao, ciao. Mm. I'm thirsty for more, and I'm hunting, and I'm looking, and I'm searching everywhere for you. Because I want one, need one, give me one more. I'm waiting by that window for you.